guys! It's cold and wet and snowy and horrible outside. Although, no, the sun still hasn't come up. So, so we're spending the day inside. The teenage son is going to appear on camera. I know, it's amazing. Um, he's going to put together some brood boxes and some frames and he's going to tell you all about his plans for his bees for this year. He's getting a couple of nukes. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I'll pop you down there and I'll let him get on with it. Enjoy. Um, I've ordered two overwinter nukes for the spring. Um, one is from Black Mountain Honey. He's got a huge YouTube channel. What I intend to do in the spring is hopefully they should they should be fairly full when I get them. It'll be the end of April when they get here. I am I'm, I intend to put them straight into a brood box. Once they've drawn out the comb on the other frames, I'm going to add a second box on top and split the original 10 frames that I had in the brood box so there's 5 on the bottom and 5 on the top I then fill the other gaps with more foundation once they've drawn that comb out I am going to take some splits I intend to overwinter them as nukes and there's the multi-queen system, so I've been watching YouTube videos on it, and basically you have three nukes, and you have one, you have a shared super. So, instead of having a nuke that throughout the summer, especially if you have a late, later honey flow, that doesn't actually give you anything. Between three nukes, they will um, fill some shared supers. Um, from what I've been reading, you have to have all the same queens. There are queen excluders, obviously, to stop the queens mixing, but the workers will be able to go up into a super and potentially down into the next the one next to it. We've been watching um, Ian Stepler. He has a YouTube channel, a Canadian beekeeper's blog. And he's a commercial beekeeper in Manitoba, I think, yes. Um, and he does some really, really useful uh, videos. And that's what he does with his nukes that he makes in the spring. He has three six frame nukes with, um, and those three share two supers. Our main honey flow is in August and September, and we are on the edge of an area of moorland, and we have a lot of heather. Um, You've probably seen on any other videos that the bees are quite literally right next to the fence. I hope that that will benefit the nukes. Hopefully I split these nukes off um, in June, mid-June hopefully. And I'm going to buy queens from our local um, commercial uh, bee farm. Uh, it's Northumberland, the Northumberland Honey Company. So those are my plans for this year. I think I've covered everything, um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. <coughs> right, finished. so <laughs> there you go. That's his plans for this year. Um, Hopefully you've, you've found it interesting and you've learnt anything. Like he said, if you've got any questions or any comments, if, you re if you're watching the video and you think, what the hell is he talking about? Just pop us a comment down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Um, because I don't understand most of what he's saying, to be quite honest. He's done all the research. He's done so much research and so much reading and watched so many videos. Um, I will link the channels down below 
and the supplies that he's getting his bees off. Anyone who's mentioned, I'll link it down below in the comment, in the, in the video description thing down below, just so that you can, you know what he's talking about a bit better, basically. Right, so that's it. Now we're going to make some more, some more frames. Um, Child labour, we've got the small one going on. <laughs> um, Richard Knoll in France. He's another one I've watched a lot. Okay, <laughs> I'll link him down below as well. Um, <laughs> right, we're going to make some more frames and have a cup of coffee. Yeah. Right, as always guys, stay safe and I'll see you on the next video guys. Bye.